Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to go around and begin to celebrate with people, congratulate them. This is a year that we are going to receive so much congratulation. Congratulation, congratulation. As you are congratulating them, prophesy upon their life that sorrow is not permissive in your life this year. Speak, speak as God's oracle upon their life. It is congratulation or true. Nobody will come and say, I am sorry. Nobody will come and pay you any other visit other than congratulation. Please, those of you that go and take a proper seat. Let's behave ourselves this year, please. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God. Please go back to your seat. And I know that this year, it is congratulation all true. I want to congratulate myself and you for making it service this morning. I thank God that it can only be God and God alone. And I prophesy upon your life that this very day, this very week, this very month and this year, you will experience God in a way I've never seen before in the name of Jesus. Yeah. It's your year. May you yeah. dominate in the name of Jesus. May yeah. you subdue in the name of Jesus. May yeah. you replenish in the name of Jesus. May yeah. you multiply in the name of Jesus. May yeah. you be fruitful in all your endeavors in the name of Jesus. It is your month, it is your week, and your day of blossoming in the morning. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus. Achievers grace is possible. I want you to know that the grace to achieve is available. How many of you believe? So whenever you hear somebody say, Achievers grace is available. Achievers grace is possible. Your response should be what? I believe. So if you believe, please be seated. And I welcome you to God's presence. And I know that God will do awesomely awesome things in your life this day in Jesus' name. The title of my ministration is Achievers grace. Achievers grace. How many of you like that uh, that title? Achievers Grace. If you see all our postings this year, you will see Achievers Grace. Hashtag Achievers Grace. Hashtag I Believe. The last time God said something to me that I so much took to heart like this was the year 2020. 2014 then I was still pastoring at the redeemed Christian church of God and the Lord said to me son next year I always say this every last day of the year every last day of every year God tell me what to expect in the successive year and he said next year will be a year of fulfillment and it came to pass so I am telling you by the authority of God that this is your year of achievement in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said this year you will succeed like never before. Amen. People have been laughing at you. By the end of this year, those that laugh at you will rejoice thanking God with you in the name of Jesus. Achievers grace is available, I believe. And my test is First Samuel chapter 17, verse 15. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 15. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone. 
and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. The scripture said there was no sword in the hand of David. So who can tell me what was in the hand of David? Who can answer us? If there was no sword in the hand of David, what was in the hand of David? Who knows it? Huh? Can you echo it? Achievers grace. When a man is operating under achievers grace, when others labor, you are favored. Where others struggle, you go, you go through it with ease. What others are doing with strength, you just pass through. The Bible said that David slaughtered, conquered the giant, the one that was terrorizing Israel, the king of Israel, the people of Israel, the soldiers of Israel, by Achiever's grace. And our Bible reading shall be in Luke chapter 11, Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. And it came to pass. That as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would trust that a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Now when he had left speaking and said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken note. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, he enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net broke. Listen, people of the living God, to every turn around in the life of is preceded by obedience to an instruction. For you to succeed this year, God is already telling you ahead that there is an achiever's grace. And what did he say before the achiever's grace? He said, believe, obey, and do what? Receive. I conclude. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in other sheep, that they should come and help them. And they came and fed both the sheep, so that they began to seek. And when Simon saw God, he met Jesus. Somebody, you are going to encounter Jesus this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Achieve. The word achieve is to successfully finish or do something you wanted to do. Several persons here, you have been trusting God to build the house of your home. May I announce to you that this year is the year of your heart warming in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am not talking about a setback. The one they build at the back, setback, just to hold the land. I'm talking about the house that you will enter. People will know of the truth that you are serving God. I said this year, by the grace of God, by the achievers grace that is available shall be your house woman in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, God's grace is usually defined as undeserved favor. Grace cannot be earned. Nobody can earn grace. It can only be given freely by God. It is God that gives a man grace. No wonder the Bible said in Romans chapter 9 verse 16, it's not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, Hebrews 4 16, the scripture says, let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace. You will find Achievers grace this morning in Jesus name. Therefore, Achievers grace can simply be defined as divine unmerited undeserved favor to
to achieve success that transcends human understanding and beat human expectation. I give you a reference from 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 11. The Bible said in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 11, that the ark of the Lord remained there in the house of Obedidom for three months, and the Lord blessed Obedidom and the entire house. This was a ark that slayed a man called Uza. Uza went to touch the ark, and the ark killed him, slaughtered him, destroyed him. He died instantly. And David became so fearful. And David and his men, with all the soldiers, they retreated. And David said, I can no longer proceed with this hack. Because that hack had become a killing hack. And he took the hack and looked around. Where will I dump it? He said, let me go and dump it in the hands of a man called Obededom. If you look at that name, Seb, it does not even sound well. Obedidom didn't sound well. Hear me, people of God. How you treat a teen matters a lot in life. How you treat a thing matters a lot in life. Your character matters a lot in life. Your attitude towards people, towards things matters a lot in life. Hear me, people of the living God. How you respect people matters a lot in life. In that same scripture of 2 Samuel chapter 6 verse 11, the Bible said, by reason of the ark, that same ark that killed Uzzah, please be seated, that same ark that killed Uzzah was the same ark that was in the house of Obedidon. It was there for 90 days. It didn't kill anybody. What was supposed to be a killer eventually became an achiever's grace. For 90 days. Obed. Edom. Hey, <laughs> Makwata. God will so bless you this year <laughs> that people will change your name. <laughs> Obed Edom. They change it to Obed Edom. Who bed of Edom? That even David had to go and pay him a court visit. And that court visit was Obed. Congratulations. Welcome to the level of people that matters in the society. And after that visit, he said, Young man, thank you. This thing has blessed your family. I never knew it was an achiever's grace that was hidden in the inside of this ark. I had a wrong mentality. People of God, if achiever's grace must work for you this year, you must work on your mentality. Failure is a mentality. Success is what? A mentality. By the grace of God, next Sunday I'm going to be preaching on positive mindset. A lot of people are going to go far in life this year because they are going to work on their mindset. A lot of people need their mind to be configured. Some need their mind to be reconfigured. Some, they need to have their mind reset. <laughs> because if your mind is not set, then forget it. Achievers' grace will not work for you. David went back to configure his mind. The same David that was hungry. God, why would you allow this act to kill somebody? Was the same one that went back to the house of Obed and said, Obed, dead on congratulations. Welcome to the level of the cream de la cream in the society. But mind, mind you, I will not leave this home without going away with the hack. There are some people God has put around you. How you treat them, Mother and Lord. There's a grace that makes a man. There's a grace that turns a man from failure to success. There's a grace that turns a man experiencing lack to begin to experience abundance. You can ask the widow of Zerapad about this grace. She wants experience uh, lack. She wants experience failure. But she met this achiever's grace. There's a grace 
that turns shame to fun. There's a grace that turns tears to tears of joy. You hear me? Who you follow determines what follow you. Who you follow determines what follows you. The Bible told us in Luke chapter 5 that Peter followed the instruction of Jesus Christ. Though a colossal failure, nothing to write home about. On that very day, he wasn't going to go home with something for the family. So he has accepted that look, I am a non-achiever. Who you follow determines what follows you. That day, he listened to Jesus. He followed Jesus. And what followed him? Abundance of breakthrough. The breakthrough became so much that Peter said, no. I rather forsake this product of Achiever's grace and go for grace himself. Jesus is grace personified. Are you hearing me? Is grace personified. My daughter came home in her usual uh, way of when she needs something, you have to bring the heaven to the earth immediately. I said, Madam, please, uh, uh, please, please, please. We didn't leave the house. I said, is it not where you go and do internship eh? that you need? I said, the place must be a television house. I said, no problem. To God be the glory, we had opportunities. Tomorrow should be resuming with AIT. You see, when these things are working, you don't need to stress yourself. Are you hearing me? You don't need to, to begin to blah, 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 blah. Who you follow determines what follows you. If it's Jesus you will follow this year, let me tell you, what people are struggling to have will be running after you. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing. What are those things? House? What are those things? Husband? What are those things? Wife? Look at my daughter there. You need more. Receive more two children in the name of. You see, I touch them. I touch them. <laughs> Don't you need a girl? You see, I touch them. They will follow you. She's not running away. You don't want. Huh? You don't want again. <laughs> what people are struggling to get, they will be pursuing you. When you look at your back, riches. When you look at your back, riches. When you look at your back, evils. When you look at your back, bigots. Only you, promotion. Amen. Last year, we had people here. Two promotions in one year. Shabby, we saw it here. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Two promotions in one year. Sir, I pray that this government, if I me, I want to be seeing you at the back of CNS. Or somebody that is in that capacity. This your pro, pro, posting will cause you great wealth in Jesus' name. If you want to achieve this here, please follow Jesus. Tell somebody I will follow Jesus. Followed Elijah. Elijah followed Elijah and got a double portion of his anointing. Joshua followed Moses. He became renowned. Who are you following? Saul of Kish was a colossal failure. He had toiled around looking for the missing house. He looked for it everywhere. Even as a soldier, he couldn't. Until he met Samuel. Saul of Kish met prophet Samuel. And from that day, favor followed him. From that day, he didn't know he was a king. He didn't know what he was. He has been wallowing in the bosom of non entity. He was a confusion. He, conf he was confused. He was totally depressed until he met prophet Samuel. And from that day, he knew himself. Knowledge is power. And Samuel told him, look, you are not just a heart seeker. You are ordained to be a king. And from that day, his life became blossom. 
Your life will bless you in Jesus' name. All of a sudden, he became the king and he began to experience great achievement. He began to experience great achievement. By the time came, he became so big in his eyes. And to him, Prophet Samuel was no longer important. And he fell greatly. Let me tell you, of a true God will bless you this year. How many of you believe that? That of a truth, God will bless you this year. Of a truth that God will bless you. Where are the top flyers? The achievers. I be, you know, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Mentality. Your mentality must change. You know what I'm saying? The way you greet me. <laughs> the way I greet you. Don't greet me like we're on the road. I hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Congratulations. It is settled for you. It is settled. 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 Uh -huh. Not pre don't press my hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know a big man hand is a privilege. You are a big man. You are a big woman. Privilege. Ah, I, I see congrats. I see celebration. Celebration. Yes, that's it. Stop looking down on yourself. Oh, Tisheo. Baba Tisheo. Oh, Tisheo. Baba Tisheo. Oh, Tisheo. I'm seeing you. You are smiling. Oh, Tisheo. what you see determine where you are going to. Yesterday we were coming to clean the church and then I told my wife this year no matter the amount of vehicle God will give me Saturdays I must trek. I must do a lot of road work most days so we trek. While we were coming, rain started misbehaving. I said, rain. Hello, I have the habit to challenge things in the realm of the spirit. I said, rain, listen to me. I want to go and clean in my father's house. You better stop now. The thing was still stubborn. I said, now I close your chambers in the house. What are you saying? That place is close. Now, listen, I don't want to see you on the earth. How many of you are witnesses? Uh -huh. And the thing ceased. Are you hearing me? Anything you don't want this year, God has given you a mouth to change it. Proverbs 18, verse 21. What about David? In 1 Samuel chapter 30, David came back to Ziklag and discovered that his house has been broken. Everything taken away. And he went, say, God, they have taken my children, they have taken everything belongs to even my men, every our children, our wives, everybody. And he went to God. Have the habit of going to God. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. He said, call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Always go to learn to go to God, not man. Learn to first go to God, not to man. And God said to him, Achievers' grace is available. And said, by reason of this achievers' grace, pursue. One of the things achievers' grace will do for you this year is that those people you have been looking at. Ah, I went to that man's house. 
If you see his house, very glorious, you will pursue them. You know what it means to pursue? It means that you are now, you are now in the same level. You are no more where you used to be. That level, that value of regression, where you begin to think your life. When did this man enter, enter force? He has built this, he has built that. No. You will now begin to see that you are moving along with them. You are pursuing them. Are you hearing me? Uh, they are at um, Okada. You will now see that you are at Ore. You are no longer at um, um, inside laughing one. No laughing one, get laughing one. You now get to laugh one. You now be entering one Okada. Okada will take you to one place. Walk, 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 300 Nera. Another one will take 400 Nera. And they call the place laughing one. <laughs> laughing one, laughing one, laughing one. <laughs> Before you come out from laughing one, laughing one, somebody's already at already. But you now see yourself, you're at already. They say they're at, uh, uh, they at Okada. That is for sure. But the Bible says you will not only pursue, you say you will overtake. Yes. By the time they are getting to you, you are already in baby. Yes. He said you will not just only overtake, you will what? Recover. Yes. That is your portion. Yes. As we enter this year and be very careful. What I say, what I do, very careful. You can only plan your life from the beginning of a year. Don't allow cry. Don't allow regret. Don't allow bad thoughts. Control your thoughts. Subdue them. Some things are trying to say, look, this year I will not allow you. That thing that is always fond of giving me tears, I subdue you. God has given you power to subdue. That's why it's your year of dominion. What dominion does is subdues. Are you hearing me? Subdue. You are in charge. I used to make thank God for the AIGs on two. May God bless them. Anyone they bring, may God bless them. Thank God for our chairman. I used to go to Benin. And every roadblock stopping this one. I don't stop. I don't stop. If you cannot honor what is on my car, then look at my chest. You will see my ID card. My ID card, I cannot give it to you. You are not carrying an ID you are carrying God in the inside of you. Hear me. When God talks, man, listen. When man listen, man, man comply. Have this knowledge that you are a God carrier. That is what dominion is all about. You are a God carrier. That's what dominion. Don't move anywhere aimlessly this year. If I leave my house, I'm going out there, I'm making it and I'm coming back. Safe, sound, and healthy. A man dies first from his mind. No wonder the Bible said in Proverbs 4, 23, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. You are who you think. Who do you think you are? I am a son of God. I am a carrier of God. I am an achiever. You don't get it this year, where you met me last year, by the first quarter of this year, you will not see me there again. Because my address has changed. I used to have an address in the valley places. But right now, the Lord has lifted me to be on the mountain there. Are you not getting it? Because the achiever's grace is available. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All you need to do is believe, obey, and receive. I told you about Obedidon, how he prospered. All Obedidon was doing was what Uza and those people didn't do. Uza and those people they didn't obey. I proved to you that God said, I beneath you. That, see that mommy, that all you need to do, once you have been given an assignment to carry, don't touch. There are people that have been assigned to touch. That was what killed K. 
King Saul. You see some people, you'll be training them just like a flower put in the oven. You have not even gone there to check them for a while. To them, they graduated. You are not the one. That you are not a prophet. You have not even been... You have not even done training. Please, this year, don't be a prophet to yourself. Let God be a prophet to you. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20 B said, Believe in the Lord your God, and ye shall what be established. Believe in his prophet, and ye shall prosper. Archbishop Bessie Idaosa one day drove to the internet to the Benin airport. It was to take his family frontier husband to, to Lagos. And they had a flight they need to catch. By the time they got there, they said the plane had just out. You know that Papa of Blessed Money is a rugged man. He drove and blocked the runway. So the, the, the pilot had to pull down. And when they opened, he just climbed. You know, Papa, that's the way I wanted to behave this year. I want to behave like it. I'm telling you. Some things happened in Benin. And uh, the chief priest was telling people close to me, whatever you see, you see. It was not a day of return back to sender. People would have, by now they would have been calling me, people are dying. It was just a day of proving to them that God is God. Thank God that princess was there. Can we celebrate princess? She's supposed to, she's in charge of security. But that day she ran. She ran. But she's supposed to be in charge of security. Tell somebody, trust no man. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> Don't allow the faces of men to cause you fear. Nothing did there. Are you hearing me? Ash be sure with that house. That day, the grace you are about to receive now was available. It was a grace of achievers unto nations. It was an achievers great for nation building, for capacity building. And he said, I am Susan so person. Don't you know me? You see me in the television. The Christians in that flight. They suddenly brought out their newspaper and they concentrated on their newspaper. I want two people to please pull up their seat for us so that these people can go to Lagos and not miss their flight. All the Christians. One of the reasons, let me tell you, if you are able to claim it as it's coming, get it grabbed, you will see, I'm telling you, that January next year, if Jesus had not come, we will not be here. But this branch will be here with this branch. Somebody will be in charge of this branch. But the headquarters will be removed from here. Are you hearing what I'm saying? People were there. That grace on that day was supposed to be transferred to a Christian. But there was a young man with his personal assistant that just started business that has what it takes. It's not about anointing. It's not about grace. Most times, when anointing and grace don't work, check your character. Check your attitude. The young man tapped his PA, brought their dose down, and said, Sir, we hereby submit our seat to you. And the name of that young man, it was a young man then, is Aliko Dangote. He tapped, said, Get up. Let's give it to this man. And that man of God said, because you stood up for me, you shall be bigger than Nigeria. And you, can, you know the rest of the story. You know, I don't want to go into that. You know. Before you say anything in Nigeria, you must consult with him. It's not about this EFCC, Red One Office, not Red One Office. God has planted that man. If you go close to Aliko Dangote, they said he's one of the most human beings you can think of. He supports Christians. He supports Muslims. He was a Muslim. 
Those of us Christians, we need to change our character so that we can be able to accommodate what God is bringing our way this year. A lot of us feel too big. Too, you know, the Christians, we are feeling too big. Who are you? What are you going to give to me? What do you have that was given to you by God? Am I communicating? What do you have? Who are you? I was starting there in the first session. If you, that, oh, I am this. Please always pay a visit to mortuary every month so that your medulla oblongata can be reset properly. And this, and that, you are nothing. You are just a saint that received the mercy and the bread of the Almighty God. That's why on the last day, every killing of cow, this, this, that, end up in dust to dust, ashes to ashes, head to head. You go back. As long as you're on this earth, please, be humble. For the achievers grace to work in your life this year, you need to be humble. I give you seven steps to achievement this year. Number one, desire. You want something that is not personally with you. It has to be achieved. Whatever you don't have now, you can still achieve it. And it starts with what you desire it. Psalm 37 verse Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. Number two, your desire. The Bible said in Mark 11, verse 24, he said, whatever you desire, pray. After you are praying, do what believe and you have it. So once you have a desire, convert your desire, number two, to imagination. Begin to imagine it. I am achieving this year. See yourself. Imagine it. Number two, imagine. You must form a meta image of that thing or situation which you desire. Whether it's a visible thing like a new car or a house or an invisible thing like love. Now, Ephesians 20. Now to him is able to do immediately more than all we ask or imagine. More than all we do what ask or imagine. According to his power that is at work within us. Number three, for you to succeed this year, please set a goal. Set a goal. Set a goal. Number one is desire. Set a desire. Number two is convert your desire to an imagination. You begin to imagine that thing in your brain coming to pass. Number three, set a goal. The image and the goal actually work hand in hand. After you desire something, you form an image of it in your mind's eye and then set it as a goal. Writing it down is also important. Philippians chapter 3 verse 14 says, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me every world in Christ Jesus. Number four, have faith. The Bible has much to say about faith and belief. Faith is the name of the currency with which we give and we receive. According to our faith, will it be done unto you? And you must believe that you have what you desire. One of the political parties president of Nigeria and had a call. They called me from Abuja. And I told them clearly, I told them clearly, for you to win this election, you must get the flag of Nigeria. You must get the head. And I told them one or two things. Before the eye of men, though robbed, the person that won the election, we all know, and uh, there's nothing anybody can do to me. For anybody that, that have tried it, they die in the process. I was very glad when my elder brother in Abuja, Pastor Paul in Nature, lifted up uh, a flag and was up. Uh, this is it. This is the man that will win this election. But when I told the people in the, I don't want to mention the name, 
they took it as please this year don't play with prophecies are you hearing what i'm saying don't play with them oh. whatever god has told you to do please do it and that is where the blessings are lied the bible talks about second Kings chapter five that nema a general nema is one of the most celebrated generals go through the bible you can think of he came <laughs> and god said elijah said i don't even need to see you what you need is a word from god through the one sent by god every man of god is not sent from god know that a man of god might not be a man from god but a man from god is a man of god go and dip yourself you know you know some people like on our way be military you get to imagine <laughs> military man as you go and just go to a public place eh? where all this start her and go and dip myself three seven times and that is where the solution is every revelation revelation that will come your way this year take it obey it are you hearing what i'm saying you this year come marriage is coming your way Amen. are you hearing what i'm saying Amen. marriage is coming and the marriage is going to just happen like that like this but what will involve us your parents and the lord and the church is when you do pity tests and nothing did there if something is there we are not just know that i just need to talk to you but that was what led to led to something and they said we have to quickly do marriage but i pray for you in the name of jesus christ that as you touch this agbada now let that marriage come to pass publicly without any reproach in the name of jesus Amen. yes it is coming to pass the lord is bringing it to pass in the name of jesus Amen. you see like that that thing now it become a confirmation of your desire begin to imagine it and begin to thank god for it what is faith faith means believing in what you have not gotten the bible has much to say about faith he said let it be done unto you according to your faith and you must believe that you have what you desire Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. I'm very confident that very soon we'll be meeting at our permanent site to be praying upon that land and we call it this fault within the next few weeks in the name of Jesus. Thing you need to do is to act it. No, now you are getting married this year. Now begin to tell those if you are the type that like painting from black to white, yeah, look for somebody that will do that for you. Begin to my musician who will be my musician. The marriage close. Begin to plan. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Begin to act them. I'll say, Lord, I thank you. I am Mrs. This. I am Mrs. This. Begin to act it. I am Mama this. I am Mama this. Begin to act them. Act it. This is the most important step. Most people stop here. Taking action gets you out of your comfort zone. Once you set your goal and hold that image before you, you must wait fully step out in faith. Matthew 6 34 says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. You see, that is his faith. Actions were working together, and his faith was made complete by what he did. James 2 22. So, when you begin to act it, God will begin to see it and say, Wow, this young sister is still dragging me. According to the word of God in Isaiah 44 verse 23 
and Jeremiah 1 2. Number six, give. You must give in order to receive. This is a law of the universe. In business, you have to give a product or service in order to receive compensation. Give. And it will be giving you a good measure, a president shaking together, running over, will be brought into your lap. For with the pleasure you use, it will measure to you. People of God, my daddy told me, he said, your father in the Lord, who? I said, it's Pastor Yadeboe. He said, go and sow a seed and make sure you do it constantly. And he asked me to embark on a fasting. It was a 21 days fasting. I'll be one month fasting. That day, I ended the fasting. I was not looking God money. All of a sudden, God remembered me. He used some of money, entered my account. I transferred it. Because I, by his grace, I was able to get his account. I sent it straight away. I was having 500 naira left. But within 24 hours, God surprised me. Give. Some of you, you want to receive, but you don't want to give. That's where the problem is. The kingdom started with giving. For God so loved the world that he gave. Number seven, receive. For everyone who has received, the one who sins finds. And to the one who knows, the door will be open. In summary, God told me, and each time he tells me something, every 31st, this one, I don't want to keep it to myself. He actually told me, son, achievers grace is available. I believe. I know he was talking to me and he was adversely talking to the church. If there are things you have been doing that are not yielding profit, please shift. This is not a year of wastage of resources. Even your time is, is in resources. Every passing minute we are getting closer to the grave. We are above a certain year. We are above 50 years of age, you are getting closer to the grave. We are not afraid. All we want to leave behind is a good legacy, a posterity that will open doors for people. If you look at what we are seeing in ancient Nigeria, it's people benefiting the legacies left behind. People benefiting from the posterity their parents left behind. If it was good or if it was bad, praise the Lord. Peter, the achievers' grace worked for him and he experienced unlimited breakthrough. David pursued, overtook, and recovered. Obedidom, he was a non entity. Achievers' grace transcended him, he transcended the limit and became a great celebrity. To the extent, that the king in waiting had to go and pay him a visit. In fact, it was not like went to pay him a visit. King David said, Sir, you are welcome to the people that matter most. How many of you know that this year the king of your village will visit you in Lagos? How many of you know that? If you are able, is a Igbo, eh? Of the Oibo land, we visit you. How many of you believe? If you are an Igbo person, come and receive that grace. Let me tell you, there's a of money you have. Is a Igbo will look for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't just receive it and not walk. Who walk? Uh huh. In the name of Jesus. You, you better go back to choir. Are you hearing me? Yes. A D book cannot visit you. From, so go back to choir. You, you better go back to choir and join Christian Foundation. Take. Are you hearing me? You don't understand what I'm saying. I say, A Z of the old Ebos. There was a time I was praying for 
the one that just died last month. I think that man was easy in Dimbo. That has white hair. How many of you know him? What are the Igbos in the house? There is one that died last month. I think they say he was a governor before. Is your four? I mean, what do you call him? He has white hair like this. Eh? Igbo man is an Igbo man. Very, very, very vibrant man. You will receive it in Jesus' name. This was the same thing that happened that day in that plane. <laughs> you know, the Lord said this year, people you least expected, people you never imagined will become great, are those that will become great. That will be a in Jesus' name. In conclusion, Mark chapter 9, verse 23 says, if thou can believe, if you can believe, Achiever's grace is already working for you. Philippians 1 verse 16 says, From confidence of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it unto the day of our Lord Jesus. Rise up on your feet and begin to appreciate God. Rise up on your feet. And we are going to pray three prayer points. The way we do things here, Sundays have changed. All I needed from you is just belief. If thou can believe, all things are possible. All things are possible. Achiever's grace is available. I cannot sound that I be let everyone it that you are among those desiring that achievers grace. Achievers grace is available. You are you are still in the head realm. When heaven sees that you believe it, it will bring things to pass. Your address today does not matter. It doesn't take God to relocate you from Italy to Banana Island. Some people are in Banana Island. I'm not talking about those uh, assets that are in Banana Island. No. It will relocate you and become a house owner. <laughs> Some people will tell you I live in Banana Island and I now, now they, they now cook, they, they cook, they are cleaning houses. That will not be a portion. God will relocate you and you go and buy a ten dollars house. Nobody is even saying to me. I want to buy for me a ten dollars house. Then go to two of them. I will give them times three. That is a portion in Jesus' name. Achievers' grace need radical approach. They need on every faith. Need a strong belief system. I repeat again. Achievers' grace is available. I believe. First prayer point I pray for you. That this very moment. Blossom in all areas of life with the dominion mandate in the name of Jesus. Prayer number two. All the mechanism, all the resources God, that will take you from a place of no to a place of somewhere in the name of Jesus receive receive in the name of Jesus receive in the name of Jesus such as was Lord, Lord the first people that you receive as I begin to speak now Holy Ghost before the last prayer Holy Ghost Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Rika 
the holy. We get to touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them. Let there be a divine touch. Let there be a divine touch. We can achieve our goals. 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 Achieve our Mambo kate kate halia Hapa lebo koto sege le uhonwa Hiko lebo sata ye kete Rama Rama Thank you Lord In Jesus name we pray This is the last prayer You know we have said 10.55 Is our maximum time God has loaded us. Sir, are you ready for your assignment today? Uh-huh. Mahili Hasa. Ribo Sahili Bruhulia. In fact, you live there. Come stand there, sir. Let me know there is two military people standing there. Stand. It's about to come and carry this. Now listen to me. Lift up your faith and your hands. I want you to shout it. Achievers grace. Yes, that's it. Anytime you hear Achievers grace, conductor talk and more. I believe. May God not say it did ya. There was a system. I went to pay a bill in the hospital. They couldn't pay the bill for her. As we speak, that sister has built four houses. God enabled it through Achievers grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, that achievers grace that will make you to achieve for God, for His kingdom, for yourself, for your family, for the community, and for the nations. I am you. Receive it in the name of Jesus.